you can search for any other database and you can for example, a database from NCBI or GenBank or e, uh, EMBL, you can search for hemoglobin, a human hemoglobin. Like this you can click, it is a second page where you have different links and coming to this, okay, of course, uh, uh, as it is a screenshot it may not be visible, but you go for your internet having this site. The after you clicking, you, you can arrive at this page. Now, blast. What is blast? It is not a bomb blast. It is an acronym. So, blast is the basic local alignment search tool. So, what is blast? I repeat, it is a basic local alignment search tool. It is developed during 1990. And in 1997, it is further improved, and S. Alshel was the main uh, scientist who developed this tool. It is a heuristic method for performing local elements through searches of high scoring segment pairs. So, it is a local alignment. There are different alignments like a pairwise alignment, parallel alignment, and also alignment from different sources. So, BLAST is basically aligning a local segments. That means, first to use statistics to predict significance of initial matches, saves on false rates, offers both sensitivity and speed. So, BLAST can be accessed through NCBI BLAST or Canadian Bioinformatics Resource or European Bioinformatics Institute. Okay. So, uh, I, I will um, recommend for NCBI BLAST, this is the NCBI BLAST uh, phase. So, you will have the nucleotide, protein, translated, genomes, special and metadata. And what you have to do is, you go for a BLAST, before going to that, different flowers of BLAST, there are different flowers also. What is it? There, are, there is a BLAST P that is called a protein query against protein data bank, and BLAST N that is a DNA RNA query against gen bank, BLAST X 6 frame trans DNA query against protein DB, and translate is, it is a uh, translation uh, nucleotide bank, and T BLAST X it is a again 6 frame. What is 6 frame? Because a codon will be having 3 bases at one side and 3 bases at one side. It is a open reading frame, it is upward and downward. So, 3 bases and 3 bases, it is called a 6 frame DNA query, PSA blast and also 5 blast. So, different formats, I will show you different file formats. It is a GenBank file format, for your uh, um, understanding, I am just showing only file formats. So, what uh, what are the um, descriptive area in this uh, um, GenBank file format? Earlier I said that this is a BLAST, BLAT format is different from the GenBank file format. Generally, uh, the GenBank file format is using a particular format called as a FASTA. FASTA is developed by Pearson and here it links a protein, there is a locus, there is a definition, there is a GA name, there is a accession number. Every uh, item you will search from the website. It is available, it is readily available. Okay, it is a Swiss plot. This is a file format is from Swiss uh, plot. Now, coming to due to the lapse of time, uh, I will just show the NCBA blast. It is a running NCBA blast. It is you have to uh, uh, give a query. Then, for example, I have given a query on the uh, human protein uh, and for this a uh, sequences it reads like this. You have to give a FASTA format or RAS sequence or type J or accession number ultimately you will arrive at this. So, the learning blast choose a range of interest in the sequence set sub sequences. Select the database from pull down menu, you will have the pull down menu at the right side. You can search the pull down menu and choose NR for non-redundant and keep his uh, CD search, the checkbox on 
leave options unchanged, use defaults, go to format menu and adjust number of descriptions and alignments as desired. Okay. I repeat, you have to choose and select NR non redundant from the dialog box or drop down menu, keep CD search checkbox on, leave options unchanged, use defaults, go to format menu and adjust number of descriptions and alignments as desired. Now, go for select database, a database is selected like NR as a conserved domain database. The contains a collection of pre-identified functional structural domains derived from PFAM and small databases as well as other sources. Okay. So, this is a next page. When you go for this, you just click on the format after giving the ID number and when format, you will have different uh, format options and you can be uh, for go for a description 100 to 50 alignments. You can go for alignment view pairwise, you can uh, PSA or Cyblast 0 0.005 and you can select all the organisms or any particular organism. You can lay out two windows and go for blast. Now, it is a result of blast. Now, you will have the blast and it is having with a date when you are going for the blast, the same date will be displaced and reference and query will be answered and your database is this. And it is output of a blast, it is output of blast. Okay. So, here if you observe the distribution of 43 blast hits on the query sequence, it is complete output and you can go for different varieties of uh, alignments or sequences. Okay. And coming to the ORF, that is up to the blast, the sequencing is done. And what is ORF finder? It is open reading frame finder. It is also a 6 frame. You can uh, you can type the GI number if you find if you know, or you can also get down the from the drop box. Okay. Uh, these are different uh, find, um, um, outputs and see by map over. Okay. As timing is running short, I can show you different formats. We can go through the uh, uh, website using your um, what you call uh, internet access in your colleges. So, these are different biodiversity databases. Okay. Uh, I go uh, to the last slides. I am skipping uh, many issues because of the lapse of time. Okay. Coming to this uh, micro array you all know. The computational drug design coming to uh, very important uh, bioinformatics uh, uh, application, the computational drug design. For example, usually our doctors uh, prescribe uh, for a uh, patient who is suffering from uh, fever, generally the patient uh, doctor prescribe paracetamol. But you know that the paracetamol tablet even though it is antipyretic, that means it reduces the temperature, will not work to everyone at that same pace or as efficiently as it suits for someone. That is, due to the bioinformatics development or due to the human genome after the uh, result of the human genome project, there is a tailor-made drug designs. It is the very important, the very beauty of the bioinformatics and human genome project. So, you can uh, tailor made a paracetamol can be damaged, can, can cause damage to somebody and can be very good to somebody. So, in future you will be having drug um, de designs based on the human genome project. So, these are um, genomics and the proteomics and the biopharma, the applications are very uh, enormous. But uh, you have to go for high throughput sequencing. Uh, genomics, proteomics, uh, chemoinformatics and combinational chemistry, uh, the molecular modeling, in vitro and in silico models. It is uh, identify disease, isolate protein and also find different drug and preclinical test. After preclinical test only, it is administered to human beings. The ligand databases, target protein, molecular docking, and ligand docker into proteins active site, everything will be possible only through the bioinformatics advancement. So, there is a knowledge modeling, the study of structure, function and quantity of complex carbohydrates synthesized by an organism. The carbohydrates added to basic protein structure that is glycosylation. The glycomics 
a self a case study. Here you can uh, see the a case study of the Greco mix. It can be a model, it can be a, a knowledge modeling, right. So, with all this, uh, what is uh, inferred is there is a lot of data coming up every day. This is actually a microarray, it is a chip based because uh, there are uh, some um, um, thousands and millions of uh, dots are there, each dot will be implanted with uh, molecules, right? And uh, this can be used as chip. Uh, a future advancement that is after the advancement of the human genome project, what is happening is uh, every um, smart card will be uh, embedded with a chip that is having your DNA, your DNA. So, in future, uh, the health industry will be very much uh, um, um, getting benefited from this because in the smart card what you are having your, your DNA. So, based on your DNA or your genetic mapping, a doctor will prescribe what type of medicine that is useful for you and it will um, um, minimize the risks or minimize the complications um, uh, that are arised from due to the uh, what is allergic uh, conditions from the different antibiotics or different medicines. Uh, and uh, for example, if you uh, coming to the uh, SNP, SNPs are also a very important. What is SNP actually? It is a single nucleotide polymorphism. That is a DNA sequence variations that occur when a single nucleotide different bases like adenine, thymine, cytosine or guanine in the genome sequence is altered. For example, a SNP might change the DNA sequence into different uh, sequence. So, these are very important uh, in, in curing or diagnosis of uh, cancer also. So, essence and the SNP that is single nucleotide polymorphs may have latent effect, okay. Uh, with this, I, I, I will end up uh, this uh, session and I advise you to go for uh, uh, internet uh, website and CBA site and you will be having very good uh, um, information regarding this uh, and also search zoology prgc.ac.blogspot.in for different informations. Thank you very much.